back to the channel, fat boys. So it is extremely cold out here today. And right now it is currently about 13 degrees outside with a wind chill making it bringing it down to about one degrees outside. So needless to say, it is very cold. We also got a nice fresh dusting. It is the weekend. So I am unable to ride, sadly, during the weekend. So I actually ended up getting a little request for doing a little walk around, showing you the bike. And so, I mean, I got nothing else really to do. So I'm going to be showing you what I've done to the bike, what's on the bike, and more future plans of what I plan on be doing to the bike. So let's go ahead and start with that. Here you can see I got the pup with me outside. So here's the bike already out and in the snow for you guys, things I do for you guys. So the first thing I ended up doing was I ended up getting this Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing and it has been truly a blessing with everything that I have been doing on this bike and all the trips that I have done, it has really made the difference between how long and how far I can truly go on this bike. And so now I'm gonna bring you guys on around to the sunny side so you'll be able to see it right in here. I ended up getting highway pegs and these are Harley Davidson ones. I ended up getting the cheapest ones, not the cheapest ones actually, the factory matching one from the factory floorboards. So that makes my life a little bit easier. I like the way, I already like the way the factory floorboards look. So I wanted to go ahead and get something that was gonna match it. And I love them. I love how well these actually fit in here and they flip up and down really nice and easily like this and they're easily adjustable. I really love that. Some other things I did end up doing to this bike that I actually grabbed from the Fat Bob was I ended up grabbing these Rogue Warrior headlights, LED lights right in here. And I grabbed them because they work amazingly well. I love how bright they are and they make actually a really huge difference in comparison to the incandescent bulbs. And then I also carried over the um, smoked out lights on there and then I changed out the spark plug wires and that actually did make a pretty big difference in just aesthetics. It's super minor, you can't really see it from a great deal away, but it does just add that little bit pop of red that I like to have on my bikes. And then just one more little tiny pop of red right down in there is my inspection plate. I ended up getting a chrome one and I just ended up making it red just to add just you know maybe a little bit more touch of red here and there and that's all I'm really wanting to I'm wanting to add a little bit of splashes of red in here because red is a little bit more my theme it goes along with the channel I love the way it looks so something else just to kind of add that little bit of splash of red another thing that you will probably notice that's different from a uh, stock road king is I actually got my mirrors flipped upside down on this bike I don't like how the stock mirrors look and so I ended up going with the long stems. I had them on my fat bob, so I just moved them over. And it it just, it helps the aesthetic of the bike lower just a little bit. I don't got these big mirrors sticking out up, up over the top. And now I'm also able to see further behind me and see further out to the side without seeing any of my shoulders. So I like that. That just, I like that just a little bit more than the stock mirrors. It helps it out just a little bit more. And so now continuing around to the back, the next thing that I also did along with the front, turn signals, I ended up grabbing the rear turn signals and those are also Rogue Rider industry turn signals, LED also, makes a huge difference, a lot brighter for people to see you. And then the next thing that a lot of people have also been asking me for is this luggage rack I ended up getting on the back of the bike. It's actually really good quality and it seems to fit really well. I got it off of Amazon, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that down below in the description for you guys. So you guys can go ahead and order. It wasn't expensive at all. High quality material, feels like high quality, feels really good and it does the job. Like it's holding all the weight that I need to, especially for long trips or night where I need to throw something up on top. Works perfectly. Ooh, it is cold outside. It is hard to breathe. And so for some future plans, I guess we can turn you guys around and talk about some of the dash things I want to do. All right. So on here, I got all this chrome and all this chrome and chrome and chrome. And so I'm kind of figuring out certain things on here. I am going to turn red and certain things on here. I'm going to turn black. So probably the gas caps, I'm going to turn black because those are already made and they're not that expensive. I might be turning the dial right here. I might be turning that a nice red and then I might be also turning this 
chrome ring right here nice and red too i did do that on my fat bob so it's going to be a very similar process i'm going to link that right up in the corner right here for you guys to be able to see how i did that and it's going to be the exact same process i'll probably record that process for you too just so that way people with road kings will be able to see it and then i also got this four clock system i actually kind of like the road king a little bit in chrome i don't think i'll be able to paint that or change that too much but then i also got so then the locking mechanism i might be able to go ahead and paint that black or red just a little bit more pop of color and then for accessories i got quad lock phone mount and i also got a phone charger right in here kind of hard for you guys to see let's lower that for you guys and got a little foam phone charger right there and then I got all my rep representation for the YouTube community inside of the fairing for you guys if you know you're all there Biker Bay Beth, Real Rock, Brapstar, Carew, Shade Tree, um, Nine Mills on two wheels I also got a couple other stickers I need to add to it. I also got some blockhead in there. I need to add some more stickers that I've recently gotten. And then finally for some more aesthetics, I'm looking at the shifting linkage there. I'm probably gonna end up painting that or get a nice looking one. I might, I'm probably just gonna end up painting that red, get that nice little pop of extra red in there. Find out some other things I really wanna do. I'm probably also gonna be reaching out to my boys at Rebus Emblems replace this i kind of like it but i do want that little bit of extra color i have used them before and i love their logos and i love their quality of place and the quality of their product i'm going to link that right up there in the corner for you guys as well highly recommend going to watch them i i love their product and so with that that really is everything i have done to the road king so far i haven't done too much i'm trying not to put too much into the bike i'd rather put things into things that you guys are going to be more interested if you are wanting to see more of those things then let me know down below so i can put the thing my money towards the things you guys are wanting to see i want to make you guys happy and i also want to be happy so i want to do a lot of these things but i want to put my money where you guys are going to be more happy as well and so today i'm going to be chilling inside getting this video out for you guys make sure you come out to any live streams i have i've been doing a couple of them for you guys recently uh have some big plans i'm going to be down at daytona beach bike week escape all of this snow and so if you like the video make sure you go ahead and give it a nice thumbs up if you aren't already make sure you go ahead Ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.